Did President Bashir Assad gas his own people? Not according to a growing number of skeptics, including Alex Jones, syndicated radio talk show host. I don't know who launched the chemical attack, but all the evidence leans towards the rebels having the motive to do it. And the Russians have put out a new report saying they have proof the rebels did it back in March of this year. All right, so what kind of proof is there that the rebels would do this? I mean, the rebels supposedly are supporting the people of Syria. They would actually sacrifice their own people in order to draw America into this war to start World War III? Well, look, uh, the, the rebels are made up of jihadis, al-Qaeda, and some domestic Syrians, but around 60%, many studies show, are al-Qaeda, are jihadis. They've been wiping out whole Christian villages. So the, I don't think the rebels represent the Syrian people. In the brutal two-and-a-half-year-long civil war against the Syrian regime, a number of rebel groups clearly established ties and in some cases were taken over by extremist groups, including al-Qaeda. Retired American Army General Paul Vallely supports the FSA, a more moderate faction of the Free Syrian Army. He was on the Syrian border on August 21st, the day of the gas attack. 